Hi there. Today we are going to discuss about Microsoft Intune, how best you could take entire the configuration as a backup and restore it if you really wanted. And also you could compare the backup or the latest changes that also can be tracked. And there are a lot of communities developing a lot of PowerShell scripts towards to this specific thing. And I come across this is some specific configuration um, which you could you know take it back up as the Intune and you could also restore so this is gonna really helpful in terms of the architect where they want to just you know back up from the test or the UAT environment to and restore it to production once this is fully tested so this kind of you know um, configuration you could use it so all I wanted to say is you could achieve the Intune backup and restore. So the backup works in a mechanism with something called the JSON file format. The entire configuration gets backed up and then it gonna it's gonna restore in that same JSON format by using. So I'm gonna deep dive that how to do it uh, in this video. Let's do the practical demo. Before we deep dive into the demo, this is the link. Um, where you could you know use the Intune backup and restore and all credit goes to John and it's not to me okay I'm just trying to elaborate how this can be done that's all so I'll be entering the installation module uh, called Microsoft Intune specific so this is a module which needs to be installed from uh, PS repository. This is a different uh, place where the script is actually stored. So since it is a not trusted one, I'm just trusting everything here so that that specific module gets installed in my local machine. And post to that, I need to actually connect it. So I will be using the commands to connect it. And uh, in this case, um, graph, I'm going to use it. So before that, in case if you don't have a Microsoft graph code install, use the install module. This, this is also another module for installation for the graph Intune. And then just use a command called connect hyphen MS graph and give your uh, source tenant. Uh, in this case, if you see contest 9848.onmicrosoft.com, this is where my entire test configuration is available, which I have created and developed a lot of configuration. And I wanted this entire thing to be backed up. So uh, I'm just trying, oops, this password is wrong, but let me enter the proper password and then it gets, you know, copied to maybe a C colon temp or something like that. And then uh, once it is done, I should be able to restore by using the same backup. So in the meantime, um, you see here, it's just connected to my tenant. And now I'm going to import, oops, I missed dot I. So import module into backup restore. So the module has to be re imported so that it will be in runtime. Then start the command. So that's a folder where I'm going to put C colon temp into backup. So start into backup. So what would happen is it's going to create a every 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 specific category based a JSON file will be created, including assignment. So if you see here, it's actually backing up my current configuration for update update rings, Microsoft Edge baseline. This itself has more than 30, 40 settings in Edge and security baselines for Windows 10. Trust me, more than 350 different settings. If I want to rewrite all of this, it definitely takes two, three days for me to rewrite entire configuration. Now, since I've taken backup, you could see here, I'm just you know, fast, fast forwarding the entire video, but just to you know show you here, this is how it looks like, my entire configuration. So it has just taken the entire backup to my C colon, temp into backup now i wanted to give you another uh, easy command so what it does is let's say uh, you you're currently trying to take the backup that's good but uh, if you want to know write automated windows uh, into specific configuration as the documentation you do have another uh, powershell uh, which is available as a module so you could you know install this specific one for example in this case install module intune documentation what it does is actually the current configuration of your intune will be written into word document so it goes to every part of the intune configuration specific and it will write as a word document so that you could uh, 
check it you know what was written so this also gives in other way a deep level of complete documentation for Intune I would say so to do that just the install this module name call into documentation and since this is also coming from a different um, repository uh, altogether called PS gallery so just uh, use as a E for S2 install that's it so now invoke a command for the Intune documentation So I'm giving again, you know, C column temp this time, a doc driven specific settings, all of that was written. Okay, my friends. Now, if you look at, this is my uh, target, target tenants. So I'm differentiated because once I restore, It may come very similar names, but I just wanted to uh, differentiate with the name called MEM. So everywhere I'm just giving as a MEM. That's what I'm trying to do. You could see here the settings, what it is actually configured on my target one. So this is a target one. So meaning target Intune also have some kind of you know, policies already there. And now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, differentiate the current policies so that you will not get into confused state later point so now I'll be using some other commands to um, restore it for so that's I'm again using the same computer but this time I'm gonna connect with a different account called memcos so in this case paddy at memcos and once I approve the multi-factor authentication uh, oops I got some kind of error but that's okay if I click on continue it just connected I don't know you know what was that error uh, at this point of time I would investigate later point but can to continue with this video yes uh, I'm connected with Microsoft graph the next thing is I have to restore for restoration I should be able to use the command um, in this case start into restore config hyphen path C colon temp into backup this is where I have all the backup files right it just uh, restore everything and if you see here there was nothing was configured now there's a policy coming up for Android configuration profiles everything is got you know created just now within the fraction of seconds so it doesn't take in maybe two three minutes even right so if you see here to test it um, to configure all these things if you really like it give it thumbs up share it as much as you can with an Intune community that way we all grow as a community and if you see here the assignments I have not done uh, as part of my restoration because um, definitely this tenant and other tenant has a different AD groups so I have not done but you know you could use a different PowerShell commands uh, to a restore for example start uh, restoration assignments can be you know, utilized there's one other command also can be utilized to restore it thank you my friends I hope this is useful for you thank you catch you in the next short lectures